Hey guys, I wanted to start off this vlog just to say thank you so much for the new subscribers, the lovely, lovely comments and the likes over the fashion week period. You guys really liked those vlogs. So I'm super, super grateful for all of you new people who have interacted and simply just watched my videos. And of course, the ones that have been following me since day, I'm super grateful that you guys are carrying on this YouTube journey with me. So I'm, I really appreciate the love and support over the last couple of videos. Those who are new here, welcome home. I'm finally in London and this video is going to be a glimpse into my London life, how I wind down from fashion month. And you're just gonna see like my morning routines, what makes me feel good, the foods that I like to cook. There's gonna be a lot of home cooking and just spending time in nature and spending time with my dog. You guys, if you don't know who Tequila is, you're gonna meet Tequila. Oh yeah, also guys, 5k subscribers i am so happy that i reached my goal in the grand scheme of things i know that 5,000 subscribers isn't loads but to me it means so much to me because it's like five five thousand of you sit there and watch one hour long videos that i have created that's just amazing so i'm forever 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 appreciative of all of you that subscribe and watch my videos so Thank you so much. But now we're on 5K. Let's try and get to 10K. So if you're new here, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And also don't forget to like and comment. And if you haven't checked out any of my old videos, please go and have a look because I'm already one year into this journey. So I feel like you guys, if you're new, you've missed out a year of my life. So go and check them out. But yes, thank you. I am forever grateful. Do you guys want to meet Tequila? I have been away for two weeks and I haven't been able to see my princess. Come here, come here. Who's this? You didn't even chew that treat. I had to bribe her with a treat because she is obsessed with food. But Tequila, do you want to say hello to my new subscribers and my old subscribers and everyone on YouTube? Yeah. She's due to eat her dinner soon, so she's ravenous. Even though I've given you so many treats throughout the day, you're just obsessed. But that's tequila, my dog. Anyway, let's get started with this London vlog. You're gonna get a little introduction into my morning routine and just me settling back in London life. I hope you enjoy this. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and enjoy the rest of this vlog. Good morning guys. It's currently 6.05 in the morning. As you can see by this face, I have just woken up. And I just thought it'd be really, really fun to show you guys like my morning routine. This is a routine that I've only really been doing for the last five or six months, but it's only like as of the last week and a half, it started to feel really natural. And it's, it's an early one, guys. I wake up at 6 a.m. And then I use this hour, not looking at my phone, not using any screens, no watching TV, no laptop use. I'm not working. I'm purely using this hour for myself and Bash does the same. So I'm just gonna talk you through my morning routine and like how it works. Tequila has decided to get up with me for a change. She usually sleeps in till at least seven, which is when we go for a walk. But yeah, she's up and perky. Also, it started to get a lot lighter outside. So I reckon that's the reason I'm finding this a lot easier than I usually would. I call this my, my ritual hour. I always start it off by lighting a candle. And then I just have that by my yoga mat. And then I tend to just use this time to like stretch, wake up my body. I'm really excited to show you guys how this works because it really has changed my life for the better. I feel a lot more present. I also use this hour to read. 
So I have no excuse in the day to not read books because I have this whole hour. I'll usually do the first half an hour or 15 minutes by stretching, waking up my body. And then I spend the last half an hour or 20 minutes reading. Come along with me my morning routine and then we're gonna go for a walk later and I'm gonna show you like my favorite things to do in the morning in terms of like breakfasts and the juices it's gonna be a good one I promise these as a gift and I've been using them every morning. It's a really beautiful way to start the morning with a positive affirmation. These are cards by Deepak Chopra, Meditations and Affirmations, and they're 64 cards to awaken your spirit. Guys, you're going to be thinking, oh my god, I came to Sarah for Fashion Week videos. What is this hippy dippy shit? But this is me and this is how I do my morning routines when I'm home. So this is how I feel most myself. And this is what makes me happy, okay? I'm choosing a card at random. And this card is going to set my intentions and mindset for the day. So this says, the present moment is the only place where renewal is possible. I am here now. So it's kind of telling me to be present. And you know what? In this day and age, it's not easy to be present with all of these distractions, be in social media, phones, TV. So I think that's like a really great way to start the day. So now throughout the day, I'm gonna constantly have it in my head. I am here now and I am present. People are always saying to me like, oh my God, Sarah, how do you do it it's so early? But life is a struggle and I choose my struggles and I would much rather this be my physical and mental struggle than anything else because I choose it. Okay, I feel really good for that. Honestly, guys, try it. Just try waking up at 6 a.m. and using that hour to have time for yourself. It's so worth it. And I feel so good for it and proud of myself. Okay, I'm gonna go and get ready and we're gonna take the little monster for walkies. past seven we're finally in the car and we're on our way to Hampstead Heath which is where we love walking Hampstead Heath I would say is the national park air quotes of London it's probably one of the biggest parks in London alongside Richmond Park Hyde Park and we're so lucky that we live a driving distance from the heath that we can get there every single day it's the best way for us to wake up our bodies before the gym later. It's amazing going for walks in the morning because it also gets our brains going. We come up with ideas, it motivates us for the day. Even if it means that you have to wake up one hour earlier, get outside in nature and start your day with a walk because it's the best thing that you can do. And we all miss gym days, workout days. And by walking in the morning, if I do miss a workout, I don't feel so guilty because I know I've already moved my body. We walk around 5K in total. So that I would say is a workout within itself. Also guys, can I just mention that I've been up for just over an hour and I still haven't checked my phone. This is a rule that I stick by when I'm in this routine is no checking phones or any screen time. No laptop, no emails, no TV, no phones. It's a really, really important way to start your day with no screens. You guys are probably wondering, Sarah, why are you not in the smart car? We have been loaned the Defender 90 V8 by Land Rover which has been an absolute dream. It has just made such a difference being in a bigger car because we shoot, 
we drive to the countryside to see Bash's family. We do a lot in our car and to finally have a car with space is, it's amazing. And there's just so much more space for me. Like usually when we're in a smart car, we're way closer to each other and now we have some space. And also I have my very own fancy chauffeur. <laughs> Hi Bash. The cutest thing is that Tequila has her own bed at the back. And she's been such a good girl the whole drive. You get a treat. How cute is that? Okay, are you ready for walkies? Should we go for walkies? Guys, isn't she beautiful? Oh, it's honestly the perfect car for us. It's such a shame it's so cloudy today, but usually here within this gap between the trees, you can see the whole view of London. But not today. One hour walk done. I feel so good, honestly. If you can, guys, I cannot stress it more. Please just give it a go for a week. Just go for an hour walk before work, before you have to do anything. And you'll just feel so much more in touch with yourself and you'll feel so good and you'll feel so energized. Honestly, it's the best thing you can do, as I've already said so many times. Now that I've fed the dog, I've changed into my workout clothes. I'm just gonna have a celery juice as this is gonna be the first thing that I have today. I said this in my vlogs before, you shouldn't have a coffee until two hours after you wake up. I don't abide by this rule every single time. Oh my gosh, my light's flashing, I'm sorry. I have still haven't fixed my light bulb. Yeah, I don't abide by this rule all the time as I do cheekily have a coffee first thing in the morning. However, I would recommend starting your day off with a celery juice. That being the first thing you have before your coffee, before your cup of tea, before anything. When I was doing this on a regular basis, my skin was insane. It was so radiant. It was during a time where I wasn't having any gluten because gluten flares up my cheek spots and silly Sarah in Paris, she did have gluten and her skin went to S-H-I-T. So yeah, I'm trying to really kind of pull back on my eating, eating healthy things, having things that I can eat. I cannot have gluten, I have a gluten intolerance. It messes up my skin. So this for a week is gonna help everything. By the way, guys, I am aware that celery juice is a love-hate relationship with people. Some don't mind it and like it. Some absolutely hate celery. My best friend, she hates celery and gags. She likes everything but celery. But I don't mind it, I like it. Another thing I've heard is when you want to make a celery juice, you must make sure that it's organic celery. I'm not quite sure the exact reason, but I guess that there's more nutrients in organic vegetables. So, nah, that's like a whole cup full. That's one celery. It's perfect. Okay, it's, it's not the best thing, but I don't mind it, it's fine. Oh my gosh, excuse the mess. We still haven't unpacked fully from Paris. This is all like our camera equipment, but I leave that to Bash to unpack. And of course he leaves it all out. Bash it if you're watching this. When I come back from a holiday or a trip, I am the one to unpack pretty much straight away because I cannot handle my suitcase being full of dirty clothes and all my favorite things just out in the suitcases. It needs to be unpacked and put away into where it belongs. So yeah, I've, I had to unpack for Bash as well when we came back from Fashion Week because I was like, if I don't unpack for him, his suitcase is just gonna be here for weeks. Bash, if you're watching this, 
please can you unpack your camera equipment okay so i just put my shoes on and now i'm ready for the gym i'm going to attempt a 5k run on the treadmill i really want to get back into my running so please 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 wish me luck and if you're new here, I do get a lot of questions like, oh my gosh, how can you eat so much? Because I do eat a lot and it's because I do work out and I really look after myself. So I think that allows me to maintain a slender figure, but everyone's different and this is what works for me. The gym was so good. Sadly, I didn't manage to do my 5K run. I was only to run 3.8K, so almost 4K, but it's fine, it's understandable. I've just got back from fashion week. I haven't been on my workout routine, so I'm obviously not gonna be as strong as I was before, but I think that 3.8K is still really good, and I ran that in half an hour. Yes, I know it's quite slow, but look, it took me almost 10 years to enjoy running, so this is a good start for me. And I've only really been running for the last six months, so we're getting there, we're getting there. After the gym, I did a food shop because the fridge is empty. It's embarrassing how empty it is, and we want to try and eat as much home cooked meals as we can just for our health and just to save a bit of money. And I do enjoy eating home cooked meals just as much as eating out. And to be able to also batch cook as well, I'm gonna try and make a Jamaican style chicken curry that will last me for like maybe two more days. So then I don't have to worry about lunch for the next few days, which saves so much time. Because me and Bash, we love eating. We always put effort into our meals. So to have a really, really tasty lunch is always a priority as well as a tasty dinner. But I think today, because it's quite late in the morning, we're gonna do a late breakfast and then an early dinner slash late lunch. So two meals today, plus I haven't had my coffee. So I'm excited to have my coffee for the morning. It's always such a drive at the gym, knowing that once I get home, I'm gonna have my coffee. So I'm like, okay, Sarah, let's push through this workout and you can reward yourself with your favorite coffee. So that's what I'm gonna do. After I show you guys my food shop, we have the best gluten-free pasta for those who cannot have gluten, like me. It's Rumo, and to be honest, I can't tell the difference between this, past, this spaghetti and normal spaghetti, it's that good. I got some chicken, white corn tortillas. These are great because they're made of corn and they're great if you can't have gluten. So we like to have like tacos here and there, so they're just gonna stay in the cupboard. I got some frozen apricots because I would love to make a smoothie of some sort. And then I also got some frozen mangoes. I think mangoes are my favorite fruit. Hi Bash, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you're so sweet. I got us lentil crisp chili and lemon. I like those ones. But, but. I got your favorite. Yes. These are still, so good. I think I still have the salt and vinegar ones too. Of these? I think so. so. These are extra virgin olive oil crisps. They're very simple, but so Moorish. We're big crisp eaters in this household. And that's the salt and vinegar version. Coconut milk, this is Bash's favorite coconut milk. He won't have any other. And what's your reason for not having any other coconut milk to this? Um, this doesn't, this is just like, there's no bullshit in this, it's like. Because non-dairy milks do contain a lot of sugars. Water, and... organic coconut milk, organic rice and sea salt, that's it. Wow, so some non-dairy milks contain really bad oils, for but, instance, yeah, really... rapeseed oil, sugar, which is just not good for you that you might as well, if you're not vegan, have normal milk, because that's better for you. Dates, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with these dates for our porridge that we're about to have. Mushroom, fresh ginger, I bought some apples. I'm gonna make a apple and ginger carrot juice. And then I just bought some herbs, some fresh herbs. 
We like to buy everything fresh in this house because it's just when you make things from scratch, it tastes so much better. Potatoes, plantain, the most underrated vegetable in the world. Not a fruit. Or it's a fruit, I don't know. It looks like a banana, but it's not. Peppers, real bananas for the porridge. And what's in here? Lemons. I've made such a mess. Shallots. Okay, it's not as empty as I thought it was. So our morning traditions is, oh, you okay? <laughs> Bash makes us porridge and I make a really good date puree to top the porridge off as sweetener in a sense. And I'm gonna show you how I do it, it's so good. It's changed my love for porridge. I liked porridge, now I love porridge because of this date hack. Right, what I do, these dates that I use are quite soft and you just rip them open and you take out the seed because we're gonna blitz this eventually and you don't wanna blitz it with the seed. And I'm going to do about 15 dates, I think, so that this will last me for the week. Because if I have to do this every single time I have porridge, it's long. Dates have been deseeded, and now I'm just gonna soak them in boiling hot water for about 10 minutes. Dates have been soaking for at least 10 minutes, and I'm just gonna scoop them into the blender. It doesn't really matter if some of the water gets in, it just makes the whole blitzing process a bit smoother. So I'll keep a little bit of the water in. So it's looking like that. I'm gonna add some coconut milk into it. And then it's ready to blitz. It's that easy, that easy. Yeah, I have these really handy Tupperwares, which we bought because we saw them used on the series, The Bear, which is a cooking show. And we are just like, yeah, these were coming so handy and they really have. So I'm gonna scoop my blitzed dates. This is how it should look so good just into here and that will last me for the rest of the week okay so the porridge is ready to be eaten i quite like my porridge quite runny that's a very unpopular opinion but i just like how much smoother it tastes when it's runny bash put cacao and maca powder in this porridge and frozen blueberries that's why it is the color it is and now i'm going to top it with everything that i love one banana, my date puree. I'm just gonna slap that on the edge. Although the dates are sweet, I still like to drizzle a little bit of maple syrup on top. The sweeter, the better. Some chia seeds. I hope this inspires you guys to start eating really healthy, by the way. I really should have done this earlier, but I'm going to crush up some pistachios to sprinkle on top because I love the taste of crushed pistachios on porridge. That easy, guys. And then I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Oh my God, this looks so good. And there you have it, breakfast. Okay. I feel like I have mastered my morning routine and I feel so good. The only thing though, is I haven't drunk enough water. I'm gonna finish this by three o'clock today, I hope. I just had a shower. My nails are nasty. I don't even wanna show you guys. I went through the whole of Fashion Week, London, Milan and Paris with my nails not manicured. So I think it's time to finally go and get my nails manicured. But I just find it so boring. I don't know anyone else, but I just sit there like waiting for it to finish. And I'm just like, I wanna go. I can't sit here for long. But do you know what? I think I'm in the mindset where I just wanna switch off for like an hour. So I'm gonna do manicure and pedicure. And let me show you what I'm wearing for my little outing. I'm wearing my Ami Paris Trench, which is such a good shape. It's oversized and you can fit so much under it. My, again, oh my gosh, an Ami Paris cardigan. I didn't realize that I was wearing both for Ami Ami. These are my AG jeans. They're just a very light colored jean, which are baggy and I'm wearing them with my new Nikes, 
which I'm obsessed with. And then my croissant bag by Louis Vuitton. This is just such a handy bag. I think I love wearing this bag day to day because of the long strap. It's just so much easier to fling on over an outfit, just like that. The light leather goes with the light colors. So this is just perfect. The perfect, perfect casual outfit. Okay, I'm gonna go get my nails done and then we're gonna come back and cook. Just like that, I got my nails done. How nice are they? Oh, I feel so good. I can't believe I went three weeks without having my nails done. I don't know what got into me. I also have the same color on my toes. I can't tell you which color it is. It is an OPI color. It's very close to the bubble bath shade. It's pretty much the same as bubble bath, I would say. Okay, finally I'm home and now time to cook up some grab. Okay guys, I am revealing one of my really great cooking hacks slash secrets, which I haven't really told anybody about, but the quick chopper is, it frees up so much time and it saves me crying when it comes to cutting onions. So I have my onion, just like that, it's chopped. Okay, I have to push it really, really hard because my blades on my quick chopper are quite blunt because I use it that much, but it's amazing. Look at that. Just like that, I have perfectly cut onion. Yeah, chefs would really look down on me with this quick chopper and be like, well, she's cheating. Another hack I do is I get a plastic bag and I roll it so it's really open. And then I put all my food waste in here as I go along rather than having to keep making a trip to the bin because I, I need it to be tidy around me when I'm cooking. So I just have it here on the side. I'm hungry, so I'm whipping open the crisps that I showed you guys earlier. Oh, hi, tequila. You come over because I'm opening up something that rustles. Does anyone else do this when they eat, when they cook? Or is it just me? So today we are making a chicken Caribbean curry with vegetables. And so I'll have potatoes in it, carrots, pepper, chili, some mushrooms with a side of plantain. But I won't be going into too much detail because I've already done this for you guys on a YouTube video before. Good. Eat. I'm to make some rice now. But I'm not just making any normal rice, I'm making flavored rice. I want to do like a coconut, lemon, and ginger rice. Yeah. So I'm gonna grate some fresh ginger. I'm also gonna grate some lime skin, some zest, sorry, lime zest, just to, you know, mix it up. Do I wanna make this lemony? No, I think lime will go better with the curry. By the way, guys, it smells so good. Okay, that's enough. I've rinsed my rice, so I'm letting that drain because rice gets really dirty if you don't rinse it. I'm also going to grate some fresh garlic because it will all dissolve within the rice rather than it being bit, all bitty. I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to mix up in the rice. I feel like by adding oil to rice, it makes it like a little bit more grainy because I cannot stand mushy rice. I can't do it. I can do sushi rice, but that's the furthest I'll go. Salt, lots of salt. I love salty rice. I'm so excited for this. Some lime juice. I'm gonna add my rice to the pot. I've done two cups of rice, so that means I add two cups of water. It's really, 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 really important that you're strict to that technique because if you put too much water, then your rice is gonna really overcook and it's gonna be all mushy. I'm gonna add like three spoons of coconut milk and then I'm gonna put it in my rice cooker. Honestly, rice cookers are lifesavers. They cook your rice to perfection. 
So this is how my rice is looking. And let's put on this bad boy. And just like that, my rice is cooking. Okay, my curry is pretty much halfway through, but I'm adding the potatoes in late because from experience, I added the potatoes in at the same time as everything else and it dissolved into nothing. So I'm now gonna add the potatoes halfway through and they cook really, really quickly. So now I'm gonna add some of the coconut milk as well just to thicken up the sauce a little bit. I'm sorry if the sound has changed, but my microphone died. Let's give this a go. Mm. I love food so much, especially home cooked food. Bash was calling this Jamaican because it's Jamaican. I'm not Jamaican, so it's fake. Jamaican food, Jamaican, but it's banging. No? I didn't say it wasn't good. It's banging. Mmm. Oh, and just like that, guys, I'm sat on the sofa and we're going to watch the movie 300 because I haven't seen it yet. way to the heath and I'm not the only passenger princess this morning she would not sit at the back of the car she just kept getting up and it's super dangerous because if she falls then her poor little skinny legs are gonna get hurt Sash has decided to bring her to the front with us and she's loving it but she can't get used to this because it's so annoying you need two hands on the wheel bash not one look how happy she is are you happy, Tequila? Uh, this rain, it, it, it ain't it. I'm so surprised this girl is walking in this rain. She never walks in the rain. She's a changed dog. Bash. <laughs> yeah, should we just sit down and take a little break in the shop? <laughs> he can't find the tea that he wants, so he's throwing a strop in the shop. <laughs> Why do people make gyms so intimidating? So at my gym, there's this group of women who are probably the, over the age of 45, 50, and they love to stare at me. It's not necessarily like they're smiling at me or they're giving me a dirty look, but they're just, I don't find them intimidating, but it's just a bit uncomfortable. Like when I'm at the, at the gym, I'm completely minding my own business. I'm not talking to anyone. I'm in the zone, I've got my headphones on, I'm doing my workout and these, this group of women just stare. And it's just like, okay, if you have something to say to me, say it to me and don't be weird about it. Have you, do you notice the women that- I know the ones you mean, you mentioned them before. Sorry, Bash is just feeding tequila some egg. The gym should be a judgment free place where you don't feel uncomfortable or weird. Maybe I should just go up to them and say something like, have you guys got a problem? Or do you guys have something to say? Guys, I can't cook egg. I can't fry an egg for the life of me. Why oil? 
Yeah, but it was high. <laughs> and then I the turned lowest? it down. It was on the lowest. Then I turned it down. Okay, the one thing I do need a lesson on is how to fry it an no, egg. You don't need a lesson because I've given you 10 lessons. I don't listen. Yeah, so I'm, I don't know what to do about these women because it's really annoying. They're and it, doing it. And it happened to, again today. I was walking down the stairs into the reception area and they're just watching me walk down the stairs. So I, f I was so tempted to wave at them and just be like, I don't know. I just, I, I don't want to engage in anything. I'm just not going to give them the time of day. Some people are very self con I am not super self-conscious, but when it comes to the gym, some people feel very self-conscious. And pe if people behave like this, how are we going to encourage women to go to gyms? Because I know so many, for instance, my sister, she won't go to the gym because she feels intimidated by all the men and if they stare. So guys, we need to do something about people minding their business at gyms. It's interesting that it's women making you feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Because you expect it to be men. Because there's no men that make me feel uncomfortable in the gym. I haven't had any instances when it, no one's ever hit on me at the gym, in the gym. I'm there, they know I'm there. Yeah, but we don't work out together. Oh. Let's go. Oh my god, guys, this is a flop. That's so embarrassing. I'm starting again. Basically, I fried the egg in the oil that I fried sausages in, so they've gone all brown and it just doesn't look good. I don't think it's going to taste good either. Will you help me make my eggs now for this next one? I will guide you. Thank you. Okay, second try with my eggs. Okay, that's looking better already. And that is exactly how I like my eggs. I do not like yolk, so I have to break it and then the edges get really crispy. Okay, today is a day for running errands, so I'm just gonna go to my parents to pick up a bunch of parcels that I have, which have piled up over the duration of fashion week. And then we're gonna come home and unbox everything and see what we have. She won't stay in her bed at the back, so I've gotta have her on my lap. On my way to go and get these packages, I have no idea what is there. My mum said there were quite a few big packages, so I don't know what that could be. I know we ordered a light for you guys on YouTube so that we can give you the best lighting possible. So I think that will really help for my cooking videos as well. Oh, my mum's calling me. Okay. <gasps> okay. And that is why we need a big car. Right, let's see what we picked up. I have this massive white box. Ooh, so I'm gonna open that. It's very, very heavy, so I can't even pick it up properly to show you guys. This is my best friend. He opens all my packages for me. He's very helpful. Not as helpful as you are. Not as helpful as you are. You gonna say hi? You don't wanna be on camera. Okay, go on then, go, go. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a gift from La Mer. They know me so well that they've created me my very own recipe book. It says recipes, Sarah. That's so cool. <gasps> I love that, that is so chic. So here I can write how difficult it is, portions if I'm cooking for like one to six people, the ingredients, whatever I wanna make, and then the method. <gasps> That is so thoughtful. I can't believe that. They have sent me the moisturizing fresh cream, which I love. I'm a huge fan of Le Mer. Introducing the new moisturizing fresh cream. <gasps> and then there's something else, which is why it's such a big package. So I'm gonna try and lift that up. Give me one sec. This is the reason the box is so big and heavy. I have something from Forest. I have no idea what's inside. I'm excited to see. Oh. This is so me and amazing and epic. Le Mer. This makes my heart so happy. Okay, let me just show you. Okay, so this is a kind of like a hamper from a brand called Forest gifted to me by La Mer, and it's like a gut health hamper to encourage harmonious balance of inner nourishment and balanced skin. And that is so cool. And it's also the first plastic free online sustainable supermarket. 
I can't believe that. That is so cool. I can't wait to stock my cupboards up with these products. And then I got gifted from a brand called Arsini, in Arsina, Ar Arkina, Arkina, Arshina. One of those, if you guys know how to pronounce this. I believe it's an Australian brand. I know exactly what is in here. It is a two piece I saw online. And as soon as I saw it, I was thinking about it all the time and they were sold out online. And I messaged the brand. I was like, guys, when will you restock? Because I really need this two piece. And they were like, we'd love to give you it for free. And I was like, hell yeah. So this is probably the most beautiful two piece I've seen in a very long time. This top is so delicate and so beautiful. And the ruching detailing is amazing because it has this slight lace between each layer and it's an open back. I cannot wait to wear that in the summer. It's gonna look so beautiful with the matching skirt. The skirt is like that and it's long. <gasps> That's me living my Hispanic dream. It's very beautiful. I can see myself wearing this in Spain in Ibiza or in Italy somewhere. Oh, I do go to Rome soon, so I think I'm gonna take it with me to Rome. It's so beautiful, I'm obsessed. There is nowhere near as many packages as I thought there would be, considering we were away for over two weeks. But this just shows how we don't say yes to absolutely everything we get offered. We are very, very picky because I will never say yes to something that I'll never wear or use because it will be a waste on the brand's behalf. And it's not good for the environment to just kind of hoard a load of things that I'm never gonna use. I have a big box from Harrods and it says celebrating 175 years limited edition bear. We all know how iconic the Harrods bears are. So they have gifted me my very own pink Valentino bear. And then on the foot, it says Harrods 2024. Look, Tequila, who's this? What's this? Is it a bear? Is this your new friend? <laughs> no, don't break it, don't break it. She loves toys. This is beautiful. If I one day have a child, this will be going on the shelf in their bedroom because it's just too cute. Do you know what? This can go in the shelf in my bedroom. Tequila, no, this is a 175 year anniversary collector's item. You can't be clawing at it, okay? Let's put it in the box where it's safe. Say bye bye. Boop. And here is something from Aritzia. I'm doing a post for them, which I'll be shooting tomorrow. So this is everything I'll be shooting. So I'll just show you. We've got some socks. Having a gym sock, a good gym sock is always handy. We have a workout sports bra with a matching short. And I can feel that the fabric of this workout gear is exactly how I like it. It's soft, it's not too tight that you're gonna suffocate and they're high rise and every workout bottom that I have must be high rise. So talking about my content shoot, which I'll be taking you guys with me tomorrow. I also have another project I'll need to shoot and that's for Jimmy Choo. They have loaned me some shoes to shoot. So let's see how they look. I'm yet to put some outfits together for this, but you know what, Jimmy Choo's are always so easy to style. It's like a pleasure to style Jimmy Choo's. And we have these beautiful sling back pumps with a mini kitten heel. And look at the drop, the teardrop shape of the heel. It's amazing. <gasps> They're so gorgeous. And I also have another shoe that I will need to style for tomorrow's shoot. I believe these are an open toe heel from what I can remember. <gasps> Look guys, how gorgeous. Isn't the color amazing? It's like a velvet purple open toe heel. And then you can see the little logo here at the back of the strap. <sighs> They're so precious. I cannot wait to shoot these. They're amazing. Honestly, Jimmy Choo do the best heels and they're so comfortable. 
Okay, I think that's it for the unboxing. Very small, very quick, but like I said, I have really narrowed down on what I say yes to because it will be such a waste just to open things for the sake of it and not really use it. So yeah, I genuinely love every single item I received. I'm so excited to stock the cupboard with these forest pieces. Oh. It's been so nice having these last two days, like, no physical content shooting it's been quite chill and it's been nice like being able to focus on eating well and eating home cooked food and i think the reason i love making food from scratch and at home is because i'm using my hands and it makes me feel busy similar to an artist they love painting because you're being creative you're using your hands and that's how i feel when i'm cooking i'm just warming up the curry that I made yesterday. So I'm just gonna have that for dinner. Having a very, 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 very early dinner. I'm not even gonna tell you guys what time it is because you're gonna look at me like I'm a weirdo. I'm making a fresh salad to go with it. So I've just chopped up some tomatoes, cucumber and avocado. I'm gonna make a dressing and then food shall be served. So I'm just gonna take half of a large lemon, squeeze it into a glass. This is honestly such a simple salad dressing, which I always make. I wanna do two times as much olive oil than there is to lemon juice. And literally I'm gonna mix that and then I'm gonna season the salad with salt and pepper and that's it. Very simple and easy for you guys to try. Give it a mix, drizzle it onto the salad, season with salt. I think we've run out of black pepper, haven't we, Bash? Yeah. You're the best. What have I done to deserve you, Bashir? I feel like this needs a little bit more um, olive oil, so I'm just gonna drizzle it over. Okay, as I haven't got any pepper, I'm gonna use some sumac, even though it's more of a zesty seasoning, but it just gives the salad some color and it doesn't look so beige. Okay, this is kind of looking like a Shirazi salad. Shirazi salads do not have avocado in them, but they do, a Shirazi salad consists of cucumber, tomatoes, red onion, and coriander. However, my version that I'm making up on the spot is going to involve parsley. That is the beauty of salads, is you can do whatever you want to them. You can add whatever you want to them. You can freestyle. And just because I have loads of parsley in the fridge, I thought it would be good to put it to some use. That looks so much better. Shut up. <laughs> I just want to say, guys, thank you so much for the 5,000 subscribers. We actually made it happen. I'm so happy. But we got to keep going, guys. So my next goal is to get 10,000. So if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please, please, please hit the subscribe button so that the more of you that follow, the more videos we can make. I'm going to try my hardest to do two videos a week. I'm gonna try and do a Wednesday and a Sunday video. I promise you, you'll always get a Sunday video. But yeah, let's keep going. And please, 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 please. I love you guys. Subscribe. guys we just had a lovely walk on the heath tequila got her steps in it was a very gloomy day but it didn't rain so that's all that matters and then we dropped her off to my parents as we cannot have her today as we have a lot going on and we got home we had our breakfast and then we rushed to get ready and jumped in the car and now we're on our way to location where we'll be shooting two projects aritzia and jimmy chu I don't know what to expect. I've seen pictures, but locations always look different once you get there. So we'll see. Guys, it's honestly, it's really tough having a dog with the job that we do. 
we had to get up extra early today so I didn't get to do my ritual hour to walk her and then we had to drop her to my parents and then it was the school run so we were stuck in loads of traffic and then we got home and then we had to rush to get ready it was just it just feels like a little bit of an inconvenience but to have a dog is so worth it she contributes towards our happiness like even just thinking about her makes me smile but my god it is hard work so cool i love this bridge and then you have London. We just arrived at the location and I got changed into my first look. So this is just a workout look from Aritzia and it is so soft. As soon as I put it on, I was like, oh my goodness, this is the perfect fabric for workout wear. So I can't wait to genuinely wear this in my workouts. Let me show you the space. So it's a studio and they have little set up so here's like a sofa area then you have like a t coffee table area that's a mirror i was just filming in we have a fake fireplace curtains so there's loads of different areas that we can shoot in which will almost look like different locations so it's very smart bash is just unpacking the camera and we're gonna go and shoot This is the second look that I'm shooting for Aritzia. Again, very soft, that second skin feel. And the headband's so cute. I love a headband, as you guys know. So it's just very me. It was very successful, but guess what? Parking ticket. Great. Great. Great finish to our productive day. A parking ticket. All I can think about right now is food. I, it's it's 2.30 and I haven't had any lunch. So I'm going to go home, make some really good food, and then I'm going to go see my best friend Rosie. But first, whilst I'm feeling all hangry, we're going to go and pick up tequila. Not a bottle of tequila, imagine. Yeah, we're gonna go pick up tequila, and I'm gonna go home, and I'm gonna cook, and I'm gonna go and see Rosie. And you're gonna pay the parking ticket. <laughs> Hi, look who we picked up. I missed you. She was like, I'm not bothered. You just took me away from my grandparents' house. I was getting spoilt to death. We literally raced home so that I could start cooking and I did a little delivery order of some supermarket necessities for my feta bake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna place this in the oven and then I'm just gonna boil some gnocchi and mix it in with all these vegetables and then in the middle there is feta cheese. So in this bake I've done garlic, chili, cherry tomatoes, normal tomatoes, a little bit of red bell pepper, courgette, and some shallots, all chopped up, nice and small. I'm just gonna put that in the oven until it starts to crisp. Oh, I cannot wait. And now I'm just going to chop some black olives, which for me makes this dish. I just love roasted black olives. It just gives the dish like a different taste. Once I place the olives in with the tray, I add some balsamic vinegar and fresh basil. It's gonna be so good. Bash is having tuna with his. I am not into tuna whatsoever, so I will not be having tuna with mine. But you do you, babe, you do you. This is the gnocchi that I got. I actually bought this at the butcher's and it looks so good. And the good thing about gnocchi is it is potato. White flour is usually used. So this is a great thing for those who can't have gluten. And in the meantime, we are eating crisps. They're so good. Okay, so this is half done. So now I'm going to add the black olives, fresh basil. I'm also going to add a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. 
Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Black cracked pepper because I forgot, my bad. And an extra drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> Gnocchi might be the easiest thing on earth to cook. So you place it in the boiling water. And then as soon as it starts to rise to the top, it's done. And it takes three minutes, max two minutes, maybe. That's it. It's done. It's done. So this is how it should look. And then we're going to mash everything up and it makes a really, really creamy sauce. <gasps> this is the best feeling ever. Guys, it looks a little bit nasty, but I promise you it's insane. I'm just going to add a little bit of olive oil and ready to go. It looks delightful. Wow. Oh, look at that. Ah, let's give it a go. Mm. So much better than any takeaway we would have got because we were planning on just getting something out. But you were pretty persistent and you were like, no, we're going to eat at home. Oh my God, and it's so good. And this gnocchi is such good quality. It really makes a difference when you get good quality gnocchi. I'm sorry, tequila, you can't have any. I give her lots of tequila. Oh, she's so lucky. Rosie for a cheeky Nando's for dinner. So for those of you who don't know what Nando's is, it's the most casual restaurant that you could go to in London. I don't even know if I can call it. Yeah, I can call it a restaurant. You order at the till and they bring your food to you. And you also have to get like your own cutlery from the side counter, your own sauces. So it's like help yourself, but they make the food for you. That's pretty much all they do for you but it's so good. I think I only like it because it's remi it reminds me of my childhood. It's where I would go with all my friends when I was 13 years old and we would all go for a cheeky Nando's. So yeah, me and Rosie are gonna go and reminisce our old days with some Nando's. Unpopular opinion, some people think it's dry, some people think it's amazing. I think it's okay. It's obviously not the best food I've had, but it's good if you just want something quick. And I just, I'm excited to catch up with her. It'll be really fun to see my Rosie I've known Rosie for like 11 years now. She's one of my best, 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 best friends in the entire world. I love her, she's a sister. She's not even my best friend, she's my sister. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have had the longest day, so I dress so casual because I really don't need to dress to impress my best friends. So I've just kind of gone very casual with my look. I'm wearing my New York Yankees cap because I'm not having a good hair day. But my Dior bucket bag is looking cute. 80s jeans, my Frankie shop blazer. I'm not a huge fan of this blazer. It's not fitted and it's very slouchy. Like I prefer a blazer to be more structured and this just kind of just drops. But you know, I bought it so I have to just wear it. I actually bought this blazer for a job because the client wanted me to wear gray. So I was like, you know what? This is really easy. I'm just gonna wear this and buy this. And it did the job. Why is my angle like this? Literally, I'm like filming from like down from below. But if I film like that, it just feels so obvious. Like, hi guys, I'm vlogging. I'm still shy vlogging in public, guys. But I'm getting better. Quarter of the chicken, chips, coleslaw. More chips. Some more chips. Holy. Um, peri nays. Like peri peri mayonnaise. You'll love it. <laughs> Lumi. Ah, honestly, had the best evening catching up with Rosie. We had a little gossip. It was just the girl time that I needed. And now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna whip out June, the novel which came in the post this morning. I can't wait to read it. I've seen the first two films. They're amazing. And then I'm going to sleep. Good night, guys. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.